Let's write the structural formula for 2,2,4-trimethylpentane. So the first thing we notice is that we end up with A-N-E. When we see that A-N-E, we're thinking alkane. Alkanes consist of carbons and hydrogens in all single bonds. So we know that we have an alkane here. Next, pent. Pent, that means five. So we're going to have five carbons single bonded in a row. Let's put those up and number them. So right now we have five carbons in a row. These lines here, they all go to hydrogens. That makes this just pentane. But this tri, that means we have three of these methyl groups and they're gonna be on carbons two, two, and four. So here's our second carbon. We'll have a methyl group here and here, and then we'll have one on the fourth carbon. Two, two, four, trimethyl pentane. Methyl groups, they look like this. A methyl group is just CH3 attached to one of these carbons here. So that's our methyl group, CH3. So let's put a methyl group here. We'll essentially replace this with a methyl group. So we have one methyl group on the second one, but remember it's 2,2. Two, two. So let's put another methyl group down here. So now we have 2,2-dimethylpentane. Two, two, put one on the fourth carbon here. Let's move this down just a little bit. And this is the structural formula for 2,2,4-trimethylpentane. It's also called isooctane. Keep in mind that each carbon will have four bonds, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Everything's a single bond here. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 2,2,4-trimethylpentane. Thanks for watching.